So today I'm going to talk about pantry cleanups. Now, why I do pantry cleanups and something that I've noticed the last couple times that I've done my pantry cleanups, um, I'll see sales, I'll stock up and I'll be good for a while. Right. But when I do my next pantry clean out, there's a stock up of things that need to be eaten because I haven't touched it and you lose taste for things. There's some things you don't want to eat anymore. There's uh, things you used to eat that you used to enjoy. You don't enjoy it anymore, but it's still in your pantry. So when you do this next pantry clean out, be mindful of that. Be mindful that you might not like tuna as much anymore. So don't stock up as much. Be mindful that you're not eating as much pasta. So don't stock up as much. Find the things that you enjoy eating. Put them in your pantry. The essentials like flour, salt, honey, maple syrup, those kind of things, that's fine. You can stock up on. Those are always essential. But things like tuna, craft dinner, uh, sardines, you know, you might like it now, but you might not like it a year from now. And if you overbuy and overstock, you end up wasting because, well, you know, a lot of the products will expire. Some will have a long shelf life and some won't. So just be mindful when you do buy stuff in the grocery store. Are you eating that? Is it something that you really enjoy? If it's something you really enjoy, if it's something that you make a lot of meals with, if it's something like pasta sauce, there's always something to do with pasta sauce. There's always something to do with tomatoes. There's always something to do with soups, right? But things that commonly you don't eat as much, maybe not stuck up on as much because you're wasting money. Really? You are, you really are wasting money. So that being said, there's some things, a couple things that I won't be buying anymore. Um, not really buying anymore. Just not as much. Uh, like I said, pasta is not a big thing in our house. I put it in my soups once in a while, or I'll have make a lasagna, but I prefer polenta lasagna. So I'll stock up on the polenta rather than that. Right? So, Maybe a pasta will be something that I'll make once in a while. So I won't stock up on like 20 bags a year, maybe five, because that's all I really need. So keep that in mind, guys. It's another way to save money. Well, it's that time of day. It's supper time. So I'm not too sure what I'm making today. So I think I'll just make these carrots, finish them off. And... Remember these? Pick them up at the last discount store haul. Those Vietnamese style shrimp and spring rolls. I'm going to use those. I'm going to put those up. And, and we're going to finish off this sweet Thai chili that I had. Finish it off. That's going to be our dipping sauce. Let's see what else I could add to this meal tonight. Well, I can make a salad. I was looking in the fridge and I still have all this romaine. So I'll cut some romaine up. I can make some salad dressing with the white. Why is that so hard to say? White wine vinegar that I had in the pantry. And I have a little piece of one of my loaves of bread that I made. So maybe I can make some croutons in the air fryer. I should do it. I should do it. And oh, of course, I'll use some of the onions in my salad. From the onion that I used the other day on my pizza sandwich. Okay, so let's put these spring rolls in here. So I think this only cost me like two bucks. I can't remember if it was two or three dollars. But they are delicious. Spring rolls, shrimp spring rolls, Vietnamese style shrimp spring rolls. Awesome. Okay. So we're getting rid of stuff in my pantry. We're getting rid of stuff in my fridge and freezer. And since it's grocery day, it's going to be great coming up soon. So I'm going to put this little piece of bread 
right in the corner here. I'm going to put it in for about four minutes. And then I'm going to flip these, so. But before I do, a little bit of olive oil on the bread. And this kind of bread, these breadcrumbs are going to be just salt and pepper. Okay? Like, I could do them in a the frying pan really fast, but nah. So I'm going to put that for four minutes because I'm going to do the croutons first and then I'll keep an eye on the rest. So loaves of bread I made this week. I have one large loaf. There's the everything bagel loaf and I have three small ones. So I'm good for another week. I'm going to buy flour next time I go to the grocery store, which is soon, very soon. And with that flour, I'll be making more delicious bread. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the salad. So before I cut it all up, I'll make the sauce. Not too sure exactly what I'm doing for the sauce. Like, you know, I'm just making it up as I go, right? So we have this white wine vinegar. Oh, I just thought of something. Hmm. Okay, I just thought of something. I don't know if it would work, but we'll put the whole thing in there because I want to finish this off. There's a lot in there. Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot in there. Maybe I shouldn't have finished it off. Can I put it back? No, I can't. Oh, damn. I didn't want that much. Okay, I'm going to pour some out. Okay, so now this is empty. And it's a nice bottle, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I might just keep that. Maybe I can put something in there. So we're going to put some salt. Sea salt. Some pepper. I'm going to put some onion powder in there. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing for the saw for this dressing, but doing it as I go. Some garlic pepper, garlic powder. Some olive oil. Lots of olive oil. Kind of like a vinaigrette, I guess. Oh, I just thought of something. I don't know if it'd be corny or... I don't know, black currant maybe? I wonder if that'd be weird. I don't know. Okay, so I have some grape jelly from my... Uh, from my backyard that I made this summer. Use the Concord grapes from my backyard and made some wonderful jelly. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that just to make it sweet. Mix it in. You know, they got raspberry vinaigrette and stuff, so why not grape vinaigrette? my dose. Woo! That's potent. So I just flipped the bread and I'm going to put it in for another four minutes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put more of that jelly in there. Change, <sighs> change the spoon, obviously. No, you know what? I'm going to add some honey from my pantry. It's not from the best before pantry. So I have some honey. I'm going to use the honey. It's not from my best before pantry. It's the honey we use for our tea. So I'm going to take about a nice teaspoon of that. Just put it in there. Now I have two spoons in there. Oh, God. Stir it again. Try it. 
this honey on the spoon, so that's not going to help. Try it one more time. It's missing something. It's missing something. What is it missing? Ah, I know. That Parmesan that I had in the fridge has to go, right? So I'm going to put a whole bunch in there. There we go. Now mix it. Some of that nutritional yeast I had in my best before, um, best before, uh, I don't know if that's good. Nutritional yeast with vinegar. Mm, shit. It might be a fail, guys. Is it a fail? We'll see. I'm going to try it now. Okay? I'm going to try it. You need something spicy or sweeter. I don't know. It's very vinegary. A little bit more of that nutritional yeast. Because I say it adds a cheese flavor. So let's make it cheesy. Mm. Now let's try it. Oh, now it's starting to taste really good. Okay, that's 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 coming along, guys. So I'm gonna add some of the onions in there. Get it out of the jar. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was the wrong jar to put it in. Maybe not. Okay. The jar. In the jar. I'm gonna take half. This is gonna be marinated in there. Some croutons. croutons are okay, I'm gonna flip these now. I'm all over the place, guys. Multitasking, multitasking. How's this coming along? Croutons are coming along. Just gonna twirl those around. Whew. Back in for another four minutes. My carrots are boiling. My croutons are in the air fryer. My spring rolls are in the air fryer. Everything's working out. It's all gonna come out at the same time. Okay, so that's going to go in there. Let it marinate in there. It's going to be part of the sauce for my salad. Okay. I know what it needs. Just a little bit of mustard. Just a little bit. There, like a honey mustard kind of deal going on. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. I usually don't try things when there's people here. Well, it's just me and Jay. It doesn't matter. We swap saliva when we kiss and everything else, right? So what's the difference? We're a couple. Okay, so it looks like the spring rolls are done. Just gotta cut this up, put it in the bowl, and we're done. I'm gonna cut up the croutons after, and we're good to go. So guys, don't cut, don't throw away your crusts on your bread. If you're not gonna eat it, keep it in the fridge or make croutons. Homemade croutons. There's not much there, but this was the last piece that I had, and I didn't want to cut up another bread, right? Just a little bit of croutons. Say we have croutons on our salad. And I get rid of that last piece. There you go. You just do it in the air fryer. You just spray a little bit of olive oil on there, salt and pepper, whatever spices you like. Parmesan cheese, even. There you go. Croutons! So, for a person that didn't know what to make tonight, I'm doing a pretty good job. 
So 10 spring rolls each. There's 20 spring rolls in there, which is awesome. I don't want too much salad. Jay loves a salad, but I'm not too fond of salad. I've not too many freaking diets in my life. There we go. Put some of that onion marinade on there. I think I made too much. So I think I might just, if there's too much, I'm just going to put it in the fridge. So there's a little bit there. I'm just putting it in a container and maybe have some more tomorrow. And of course, the croutons. Well, there's dinner. We got some spring rolls from the freezer that we got from our last discount store haul. We got the sweet chili Thai done up from the best before pantry. We finished off those carrots I had in the fridge. We got some romaine, leftover crust from my bread that I made and made some croutons. And of course my wonderful dressing, my vinaigrette. And there we go guys, dinner is served. Well guys, all I have to say is uh, that dinner was good. I really enjoyed those spring rolls and I'll buy them again if I see them. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And as for that dressing that I made, it turned out great. It turned out great. I'm surprised. You know me, when I concoct sometimes, I'm not too sure how it's going to come out. You never do. But for some reason, it always turns out great. Jay loved it. Jay really loved it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow because I'll be back with another video. Bye for now.